Laser cameras that see around corners, laser beams shooting drones from the sky, and lasers that regrow your teeth. I'm John P. Geek Beats Laser Palooza starts now. We begin with the few, the proud, the laser leatherneck U.S. Marines who are developing a 50 kilowatt laser weapon system that will be mounted on Humvees to shoot enemy drones out of the sky. The system, called GBAD, or Ground-Based Air Defense Directed Energy on the Move, GBAD's better, is expected to be ready for field testing with a 30 kilowatt laser by 2016. Although designed to shoot down drones, the system could also be aimed at targets on the ground, just like those ray beams we've been promised by the old sci-fi movies. The military is also interested in a new camera system that can see around corners, being developed by researchers at the universities of Glasgow and Harriet Watt in Edinburgh. By combining a camera with lasers firing at 4,000 times per second, the researchers hope to capture light bouncing off nearby objects from a 32 by 32 pixel sensor recording at 15 billion frames per second. A computer would then determine the time it takes individual photons to return from those objects, even those around corners, and then use the data to reconstruct an image of them. That's the theory anyway, still plenty of development to be done. To Poland we go, where military university researchers have developed a roadside laser system to detect drunk drivers. Now, as cars pass by, the system fires a laser that can be absorbed by alcohol vapor. And when it passes through the windows of the passenger compartment, they know whether you've been drinking. Any loss of power in the beam recorded by the receiver on the other side of the road indicates an open container of alcohol inside the car or alcohol in the breath of a driver or passenger. The system could be operational as early as next year. Harvard and the National Institutes of Health have used low-power lasers to stimulate the growth of teeth in rats and human dental tissue in the labs. The laser treatment successfully activated stem cells to repair damaged dental tissue and could possibly be used to regenerate damaged bones and muscle tissue. Research is still in the early stage, but initial results are encouraging. Finally, a power company in Hawaii is using 30 low-power lasers attached to its power poles to build a laser fence they hope will warn seabirds away from power lines at night. This is happening in a relatively remote area on the island of Kauai, but if it's successful, it could be expanded to less remote areas where bird collisions with power lines happen more frequently. Well, I hope you enjoyed Geek Beat's Laser Palooza. Now I'm going to go queue up a playlist of cats chasing lasers. I'm John P. See you next time.